another lovely rendition of the national anthem by members of the Milton Choral Group. I hope you could hear it, but if you couldn't, that's just another reason you should come down to see one of the basketball games down here at, Mil at Milton High School. They do a terrific job before every game. I'm here with Jerry Gallagher. Jerry, how you doing? Doing fine after the uh, Pats won. Uh, yeah. Reveling in the pa Patriots. And in case, depending on when you're watching this, that was the AFC Championship that's game right. you're talking about. We're here for the game between the uh, Milton Wildcats and the Dedham Marauders, a Bay State uh, League Herget matchup. It's the second matchup between the two teams. Uh, yeah. Dedham won a close one the first Very time. Very close one. Very tough physical game last time. A couple of, uh, at least in our view, questionable refereeing calls down the stretch in that one. I'm sure we'll be questioning a few. Be interested to see how they call that. Uh, they have a tendency to use that move and pick with their upper body, a couple of these guys. Well, it's a, a two different, very different teams. Uh, Milton with a size, a distinct size advantage. Dedham plays a very quick, up and down, full court pressing game. I think the Milton court is bigger than the Dedham court. It might be a little tougher for them to play that full court pressing game with a bigger space. They go right down low to Bobby Ranton. Bobby delivers. Bobby, it was a great game Friday night and their big win over Braintree. That was a huge win for the uh, Milton Varsity. Braintree had just come off a big win against Brookline and to beat, beat uh, Braintree, a much bigger school, was a, a nice victory for Milton. I didn't realize Braintree had beaten Brookline. Uh, I think they'd beaten Brookline. Or maybe it was Newton North they beat, but they'd won, beaten one of the top yeah, teams. I think in the, Newton North, yeah. yeah. It's interesting, they posted up Bobby Ranton on the first hoop. I don't think I've seen him do that all year. Adam Donovan with a spin move down low. Nice up and under for another hoop. Well, Milton wasn't able to set up inside last time against uh, Dedham. And so far, two trips down court, they've set up inside both times. I'll try to set the lineups for you here. For Milton, number three, Bobby Ranton. Number 30, Chris Potts on defense. Uh, number 42, senior captain uh, Steve Cunningham. Number 41, freshman Adam Donovan. Rebound by number 30, Chris Potts, the other senior captain. And number 20 for Milton, Brian Francis. Uh, Dedham's leading player is uh, number 25, uh, Kennard Dozier. Very strong sophomore. Very explosive to the basket, Charlie. Yeah, if he gets, uh, gets the ball in the open court, he's very quick to the hoop. It's Chris Potts. And looks like a blocking foul called on Adam Dunneman as he set the screen. If they're going to call that on Milton, be interesting. I was going to say, yeah, that's a, that might help us in the uh, in the end. See if they call it the other way on Dedham's screen. That screens. was our biggest complaint against Dedham in the last game. Uh, for Dedham, number 24, Barry Sheehan puts the ball into play. Captain James Briscoe at point. Other starters are number 33. That's uh, Brian Camerata. And uh, number um, 24, oops, 22, Tim Hanabary. Briscoe blocked by Bobby Ranton. Takes it down the other end and throws it up and in. Oh, uh, Bobby is picking up where he left off Friday night. He, he made a couple of incredible layups Friday night. Now this is his first year on the varsity and it may be that, oh, there's uh, Dozier with that jump shot, the three-pointer. Showing some range there. If he can stick that and put the ball on the floor and bring it to the hoop, it's going to be tough. What I was going to say about Bobby Ranton, this is his first year on the varsity and he might have been a little uncomfortable, but uh, but now I think he's settled in and he's feeling strong. Yeah, Brian, Brian Travis answers with the three Brian there. Travis with a good three. Milton's defense very aggressive so far. Briscoe with another three. That's what they did a lot of last game, the shoot yeah. from the outside. Briscoe's got that good outside shot. He's got the good range. And it's 9-6 to six early in the early going here in favor of the Milton Wildcats as they've gotten off to a good strong start. Playing Chris Potts. 3-2 defense here, it looks like. Brian Travers with another three. That's no good. Now the uh, junior varsity game, which we just did, they played the same sort of 3-2. two you got to get out on Denham because they will shoot that three. And there's another one by Briscoe. Ties it up at nine. Yeah, I can't give him any space at all. Got to fight over that pick. They get it down low to... Milton swings the ball into the corner for Chris Potts for a three. That's blocked. Nice job by uh, Barry Sheehan to get out there. Followed by Brian uh, Adam Dunneman is good. Nice effort by Steve to keep it alive. But Brian got his... Uh, hey, nice work. should say Adam got his rebound and was able to put it in and get a foul. Well, this 2-3 zone, that, um, or 3-2 zone, actually, that Dedham runs, as soon as the ball goes down in low to one of the big men, they have two guys tr yeah, clamping strong, right on them. Strong side wing is just uh, sagging right down. And that's uh, five quick points for Adam Donovan, and Milton has a 12-9 lead. About three minutes into the first half here. Milton with a little bit of a token press. Dozier for another three. That's no good. That's the 
first miss from the three-point line for uh, Dedham. They just set up outside there and far away. Brian Travers tries to get it down low to Steve Cunningham, but gets knocked out of bounds. Now Milton got off to a much better start. They get off to a very bad start in the first Dedham game. We're sort of fighting out of a hole most of the game. Down low to Steve Cunningham. Back out to Chris Potts for the jump shot. That's a round, no good. And a rebound by Brusco, the smallest man on the floor. Oh, Brisco. the quickest possibly. Very, very quick move there. Strong start for him. That's eight points for Briscoe right off the get-go. And it's 12-11 in favor of Milton. Adam Dunham with another hoop. He's just too strong down there. He is. I haven't seen anybody stop him yet this season. He's just getting better game by game. Well, he's very patient. He doesn't rush things down there. You know, he, he, if the first move isn't there, he'll look for the next move. And um, that also helps him to pick up a lot of fouls, I think, so that he goes to the line a lot where he's a pretty good foul shooter. Yeah, very seldom do you see him go up with that first move. See if he can complete the three-point play here. There's no good on that one, but right there is Steve Cunningham up and good. Uh, Milton's already got more points inside, I think, in the early going against Adam than they did most of the first game. 16-11 lead for Milton. Oh, Dozier right. with a strong move. Very strong. Adam uh, got a good piece of that and still went in. He, he plays out on top of the zone, too, where he can use his quickness to harass the passes. Chris Potts with a three. That's short. Nice play by Bobby Rand to save it, but... Uh, has to scrape himself up off the bench. No good. Rebound Adam Donovan. Good outlet to Chris Potts. Oop. Tried to squeeze it into Steve Cunningham, but Dozier got a hand on it. That's Matt Boudreau into the game for Dedham. And another three by Briscoe. Another open look. They can't give him those open looks. Now Bobby Rand did a terrific job on Braintree's uh, best player the other day uh, and on Natick's best player, but so far the defense has been a little suspect. A oh, nice dump down. Adam Dunham sees the floor and dumps it down to Steve Cunningham. Yeah, really good. They get, uh, get the wraps on Briscoe here. They're in pretty good shape. I mean, it's, it's not like they don't know who's going to hurt them on this team. You know, Briscoe and uh, Doja. There's Hanterbury with a three-pointer. That's and no good. That's his first attempt. And Steve Cunningham. Well, some of the other guys are going to have to step up and do something for Dedham. Milton will just start focusing on uh, Dozier and on Briscoe. Milton swings it around the perimeter. Chris Potts gets called for a travel. Marcus Burke comes in for Bobby Rand. I think Bobby took a little bit of a beating when he tried to save that ball on the sideline. Yeah, I had a tough time getting back, getting set up on D. I see Kevin Innocent in street clothes over there, so he obviously won't be playing tonight. That's going to be a bit of a loss. He's a lot of energy off the bench for the team. There's Boudreaux outside to Henneberry. Briscoe comes off two picks, drives it in and gets blocked from behind by Marcus Burke. Yeah, good help from behind. Brian Travers with an open three. Around, no good. Just won't drop. Good luck, though. Milton's uh, shooting more from the outside in this game than I've seen him in any of the previous games we've done. And it may be a function of the fact that the zone's going to give him that look. Good job by Steve Cunningham to save that pass. Oh, nice look down low to Adam Donovan. Well, so far, I've Inside got Adam. out, outside in. Look good from here. I've got Adam for either 9 or 10, and I think Steve Cunningham has 4. So the Milton big men are off to a good start here. Something they couldn't do against Adam the first time down. Well, Chris Potts has shown he's going to shoot from the outside, so he kind of had the defense thinking shot then, and he dumped it down low to Adam. Boudreaux with a left-hand drive, no good, and Steve Cunningham comes down with a rebound. Well, the first game, Dedham's press gave Milton a lot of trouble. Now, so far, they haven't really used it. Maybe they haven't scored that often, but they haven't used the press all that much. Adam Donovan out of the game to take a breather, and um, Corey Resens comes in to replace him. Plus, I think the bigger court does make it tougher to press. Gives the passing, uh, better passing lanes. Milton's done a nice job of being patient against 
against the press, and just as I think it's the zone, just as I say that, Brian uh, Travers gets called for a travel. Let's go to Boudreaux. Out top to uh, James Carroll, who just came into the game. Tough move. Good move by uh, Dozier, but he couldn't get the shot uh, to drop. Let him just call for, it sounded like this strong play. It looks like it's an isolation for Dozier. To look for that. Certainly was a strong move. There's a turnover by Milton as they try to get it into the foul line area. And one thing that uh, did kill him in that game against uh, Dedham in that, the first game, there was a lot of turnovers. Briscoe with another three. Is, his, is that his first miss? Good ball fake by Brian Travers, and then he slips on the floor. And Briscoe comes up with a loose the ball. Here. Behind the back to Boudreaux, no good. And will stay Dedham ball. About halfway through the first half here, 20 to 16 in favor of the Milton Wildcats. Very um, up tempo game so yeah, far. Yeah, Milton got lucky there. He missed a wide open layup. Carroll puts the ball in play to Dozier. Boudreaux with a three. That's long. Good work by Chris Potts. Referees have a little disagreement here. But it's going to be Milton Ball as Chris Potts managed to bang it off. The yep, he's up in the air and he's able to throw it off, save it off of the... Uh, it looked like the dead end player was standing out of bounds. I'm not sure. I'd, I'd have to look at the rule, but I think in that situation, he's already out of bounds. Dedham extends the defense and creates a turnover. Dozier with a good jump stop and in for the yeah, layup. We saw plenty of that in the first game. I'm afraid we might see more of it. Marcus Burke right back the other way. Right in his face on that one. Milton stays with a four point lead, 22 to 18. I may be wrong, but I think so far, Briscoe and uh, Dozier scored all of Dedham's points. Concluding that three right there. It's tough. If he can shoot that three, it makes it tough to go out and defend. Chris Potts can't get it to go. Yeah, he can still got to get up on him and hope for help when he goes to the, uh, put the ball on the floor. Good turnover by Chris Potts. He throws it ahead to Marcus Burke. Up and under. Oh, no good. Good move by Marcus, but he fights down the rebound. Good hustle by Milton, but it's going to be a denim ball. Into the game for Denham is number 14. That's Eric Putney. He replaces Boudreaux. I suspect we'll see Briscoe and, uh, and Dozier out there for most of the game. I wouldn't be surprised. Unless they uh, beg to come off, I'd leave them out there. Another three for Dozier. That one's short. And Chris Potts with a rebound. Good box out by both Potts and Cunningham on that one. Yeah, they do a good job sailing off the boards. Now another forced pass down low. Ooh, good job by Briscoe and a nice pass from Carroll and that's the first lead of the game for Denham. Corey resends out on the perimeter. Chris Potts with a three and that's good. Yeah, I think they need a little more of that. The uh, Denham seems to be wise enough to pound on the ball down low. I think the corners are going to be open the way the zone is set up. You now swing the, the ball side. down in the corner on the weak side, it's going to be hard for the defender to get out there. There's a shot no good by Putney. And if the defender does run out, then you can drop the ball down low. Down low to Corey Resents, off his fingertips and out of bounds. Adam Dunneman back in the game to give Steve Cunningham a rest. Well, the Milton, the Wildcats were most effective when they had the two big guys in there. Uh, I suppose you got to give them both a blow during the yeah, first half. Yeah, they do. They got to get a rest, but uh, it'd be nice if they could finish up the half. It's tough to defend both, both at the same time. Puts a lot more pressure on Dedham's defense. Dozier over to Briscoe. So far, it's been a two-man team for Dedham. All 23 points were scored by either Dozier or Briscoe. And you know, luckily, some of these other guys have taken shots when they've had the chance. 
Good ball fake by uh, Dozier. Good body control, and he gets the hoop. Two man wrecking crew here. We got a tie ball game, 25 all. Four and a half to go here in the first half. Into Adam Donovan. In strong, off the board, and good. I don't know how he found his way in there. He, he was surrounded. Takes a big step. That first step is a big step. Really cleared his way away from the double team. And that's around, I think that's a dozen for Adam. Up to Brian Travers. Marcus Burke with a rebound to Travers. Travers skips it across to Chris Potts. Puts it on the floor. Takes it in strong. Can't get it to go. I think they gave him the baseline. He just couldn't finish. Almost. Good slice to the hoop. I think he had more room than he thought he did. Briscoe and Dozier both work outside the three-point line and then put it on the floor and take it to the hoop. And a travel call on uh, Sheehan. Back into the game for uh, Dedham are um, Brian Camerata, number 33, and... Um, Tim Hanabary, number 22. Yeah, just shuffling the deck around Dozier and uh, what's the captain's name again? Briscoe. Briscoe. Nope. Palming call on Marcus Burke. He's getting himself uh, organized for that drive to the hoop and he... Pretty clean game so far. I haven't been many fouls called. No, it hasn't been. Only four fouls, whole half. Almost picked off by Corey Rosens. And then Marcus Burke gets a hand on it. It's almost like they're daring the rest of the team. They to really are. Uh, Hanaberry. Finally, someone other than uh, Briscoe. Big and, eruption uh, from the Dedham bench there. They know that makes a big difference. Good drive by Corey Rosens. That's twice in a row, Milton. Couldn't get a layup to go. Dedham with a one-point lead, 28-27, as we get into the final three minutes of the first half. Briscoe comes up short. Excuse me, Dozier comes up short. And Briscoe gets the rebound. Brian Travers is working hard against uh, Dozier to get called for the foul. First foul on Brian. It's only the second foul on the team. It's like Bobby Rand got bandaged up on the left knee on the sidelines there. He must have scraped himself hitting the, hitting the deck. It'd be interesting to see if he can come back in and move. Hanaberry misses, but uh, Dedham gets the rebound. And the shot is up and good by uh, Withrow. And it's 30-27 in favor of Dedham. Dedham's extended their defense a little bit. It should open up that passing lane for... Adam Dunneman missed the shot, but got his own rebound and picked up the foul. Yeah, nice job getting that rebound. But again, that's another layup from Milton that they couldn't get to go. Just rolling off the rim. They're doing what they want. They're getting the shots they want. Yeah. They just can't get them to drop. But Adam Dunneman will shoot two at the line. Yeah, it looks like Dedham uh, switched the defense to a little 2-3 matchup that last time down the court. Can't get the first to go. Joe Bossy into the game for Milton. Replaces Brian Travers, and uh, Bobby Ranton back in replaces Marcus Burke. It's a big lineup for the Wildcats. Dedham's uh, brought quite a few fans with them tonight. Yeah, those are, if you're looking, that's the Dedham side over on the other side. All the Milton fans are down underneath us. You don't get a chance to see them. Second shot by Adam Donovan is good. And it's 30-28 Dedham. A nice entry pass. The shot is good by Barry Sheen. And suddenly Mil uh, Dedham is getting caught. Yeah, setting up a little low post. Now it's almost as if they've used... Uh, it's as if they've used Briscoe and um, Dozier, and, and the Milton defense is focused on them, and now they've shifted their offense. Yeah, and these kids are delivering now, too. They were Adam missing Donovan. in the beginning, but now they seem to be delivering. Puts it in play to Chris Potts. Long three by Potts. No good. Joe Bossy fights for the rebound. He had it, but they got called for a held ball. That was a quick call. Very quick whistle on that one. Good didn't work by Joe Bossy on the board. Didn't give him a chance to make his move there. He just about collected the rebound when they called that. Oh, 
Denham kicks it out to Hanabury. Shot is up and good by Sheehan. Two in a row by Sheehan. Nice open look in the paint though. 34-28, a six point lead for Dedham. Bobby Ranton takes it in but gets rejected. Adam Dunham goes up and he's gonna pick up the foul. Yeah. Well, so far every time they've gotten the ball to Adam, good things have happened. Yeah, even though he's been drawing uh, half the team. Thanks once again to Milton Cable Television for giving us the opportunity to do this. Uh, as I always say, if you have any time or interest in getting involved in the cable television, it's a wonderful opportunity to help the community, and they can always use help. Give them a call. What's that number, Ricky? 617-698-0814. There you go. Yeah. Ricky Regan and Alamat Productions doing all the hard work here with the camera work, the production, and all of the editing work. Adam Dunneman with a second. That one's also good. 34-30. A minute and a half left Milton, to go now. Uh, could use a stop here. Very fast first half. There's been very few whistles. Hanabary puts it on the floor. Over to Boudreaux for a long three. Partially blocked by Chris Potts. Boudreaux saw it, gets it, and can't get it to go. Bobby Ranton comes down with a rebound. Chris Potts got a piece of that, and nobody knew it was coming up short. No, it was an air ball, and it uh, surprised everybody. Bobby Waiting for Ranton. it to come off the rim for that rebound. Chris Potts with the open three. That one's good. And that'll bring Milton within one. Need another nice defensive stop here. Got a back and forth in this ball game, Jerry. One team gets on a little run, gets a little lead, and the other team bounces right back. Good drive by Dozier there, yeah. and he's going to pick up a foul. He used his body well. He really used his body well. Keep the uh, defender away from that ball. He's not that tall, but he's a really strong inside ball player. I'd say he's probably looks only to be about 5'10 from here. Yeah, they don't give us the uh, height on the roster. You know, just looking at some of the other players out there, maybe, maybe a little taller. Very strong, 5'10 uh, though. He's got some ups too, as the kids would say. First one is good. Steve Cunningham back into the game, replaces Joe Bossy. No, nope, I'm sorry, Adam Donovan. Great half by Adam. Yeah, was that the first foul on Adam? He didn't put it up on the board. Like it's, if it was the second foul, maybe they're taking him out to keep him out of foul trouble. Dozier hits both. 36-33 Denham, 41 seconds left to go. So far, Denham really hasn't used the press at all. Joe Bossy puts it on the floor. Tries to drop it down to Steve Cunningham, but the ball it goes out of bounds. It doesn't matter who you are. You, you, you're drawing that double and triple team as soon as you get the ball anywhere near the block. Well, he tried to do the right thing. He tried to find Steve Cunningham down low, but the pass was hello, not a bad pass, a little yeah. too hard. Denham plays a good, tough defense, though. You get doubled. You don't necessarily uh, are able to get rid of it that easily. Canterbury out top to Briscoe. Briscoe's cooled off a little bit. Now he takes it to the hoop, kicks it to Hanabury, into the traffic, blocked by Steve Cunningham. Oh, Corey Rosenzo almost got beheaded on that one. Briscoe thought he had a steal and a clean uh, lane to the hoop there, but he made too much contact with uh, Corey. That's only the fifth team foul, so it'll be Milton possession. Six, 7.6 seconds left there. See if Milton get the last shot up. Chris Potts drives it to the hoop. It looks like a blocking foul on Joe Bossy, a setting to pick. 2.8 seconds. It'll be yeah. tough for Dedham to get it down court. Possession foul for Dedham here. Yeah. I'd say unless they make a long pass, that's a long way to go in three seconds. See if they bring Dozier off a pick. Well, Milton could commit another foul, actually. They've still got they plenty of fouls to give. Yeah. Get the ball in and grab somebody. Anybody gets a good look. There's the shot by Briscoe. It's going to come up short. That was a very uh, entertaining first half, Jerry. It was. It was. Uh, I tell you, Dedham's got a uh, couple great ball players here, but Milton's going to have to pay closer attention to him. This game looks like it could be shaping up to uh, be a, a uh, exciting finish, just like it, the first game between the it two it teams. Be. It should be. I, think, I, think, I don't think we've seen the best of Milton yet, though. I think they'll yeah. come back strong in the second half. Uh, Adam played a tremendous game. Uh, Potts had a couple nice threes. 
but I think I think there's more to be seen. Well, they get a three-point deficit. They're going to have to come back from in the second half. It's a key game for Milton too because they're in a battle. I mean, nobody's going to catch Walpole in the Hergut Division. Walpole's, uh, you know, they're a powerhouse. They've established themselves right. as one of the best teams yeah. in the state. But uh, I think the second place is up for grabs between Milton, maybe uh, Natick, and maybe um, uh, Norwood. Maybe there's Dedham too. Yeah. No, I think Norwood's a, a bit of a weak team. Take a look at the cheerleaders here. Um, and so I think if you know Milton, this would be a key game both because Milton at five and three would position itself with a win at six and three for a good strong run in the second half of the season. And it's also a victory against the team that they're fighting for the second yeah, spot. Especially with. after losing an edge gym in a close game. You'd like to be able to take care of business when you they come to your house. Get a good look at the cheerleaders here. They all nice job by the cheerleaders. They do a As great always, job at every game. They certainly do. Put a lot of energy into it. All right. Well, your intrepid reporters here are going to go down and have a little snack at lunchtime, and we'll be back here for the second half shortly. Milton facing a three-point deficit going into the second half. Dedham lead. Dedham seems to have fallen back a little bit into their softer zone. Good drive by Chris Potts. I thought I might have seen an extra step in there, but uh, it was just a uh, professional layup. He's got a good. He has a good ability to. We're back here for the second half as uh, Milton's got the first basket of the half, cut the lead to 36-35. Shot no good, but looks like a foul called on Brian Travers. And I think that was one where the referee might have been calling the end result rather than seeing anything happen. Dozier went down and the ball went out of bounds, but it looked like it was just a pretty clean fight for the ball. Briscoe out top. Camerata back to Hanabari. Dozier on the wing covered by Brian Travers. Tough matchup for Brian. He's a great defender, but that's a tough player to cover one on one. Drive by, um, no, no good by uh, Sheehan, and Chris Potts with a rebound. Yeah, Brian did a nice job on him then. Looked like he wanted to get the ball back in the lane, but Brian had him covered. Potts with a long three off the front rim, no good. I think he thought he had the flow going on that one, but it didn't go down. Milton down one. Dozier with a jumper, no good. And Brian Travers shakes the rebound loose to Bobby Ranton. Brian Travers will bring it up, gives it back to Bobby Ranton. It's close to a 10 second call on that one. A good look down low. Right. I'm going to have to go Major back League and watch that in. one on a replay. That was a dipsy do. It certainly was. Went up and under the defender and then spun it off the backboard. He's showing some nice touch around the glass. Oh, an offensive foul called against. Uh, 
Briscoe. It's Captain Briscoe. Boy, I look look like a pretty good move to me. Uh, like Chris Potts managed to pick up the charge call. And that could be a key call. Now Milton's got a little uh, momentum going for itself here. Yeah, I think that's his second foul. Bobby Ranton brings the ball up oh, against some fairly serious pressure. Yeah, he's being uh, ridden on half, halfway up the court. Good look into Steve Cunningham. Catches, puts it up, no good, but he's going to go to the line. It's funny because um, they really haven't pressed, but in that case, it was sort of a one-man press by um, uh, Camerata while the rest of the team dropped back into a zone. That's a good way to kill some clock. I mean, they, they, to force you to get into your offense a little bit later if they can use some clock coming down. First trip to the line today, I think, for Steve Cunningham. A little short. Yeah, Steve uh, couldn't quite get the handle on that pass right away, but did a nice job getting it up to the hoop, getting to the line. Second shot by Cunningham is up and good. Uh, put Milton ahead by two with about 13-32. Now Milton get off to a good start in the first half, too. Let's see if they can parlay this good start in the second half into a solid lead. Very physical down low against the picks. There's Dozier, now covered by nice Potts. Nice switch by Potts, picking up Dozier. Brian getting picked off, but Potts made a nice switch. Down to seven on the shot clock. Oh, too bad. Looked like a block there. Looked Milton like an played very block. good defense. Foul call on Steve Cunningham. That looked pretty clean from the front. It looks like bad. a rebound got hung up there, and uh, Steve went up just at the wrong time. It was one of those wild shots that he threw up, and it was, uh, I think, came off the rim a lot, dip more, uh, lot differently than they expected. Dozier very good at the line. Almost jinxed him. You Dozier, tried. Dozier you tried. excellent at the line. I'll ramp it up a, a level. Yeah, nothing but net on that one, and that ties us up at 38 apiece. Here's and the here's full the full court, court pressure. pressure for Dedham. Brian is forced to call a timeout as he gets trapped in the corner. Well, you know, they sort of saved it, and they sprung it on Milton, and uh, I think it caught Milton a little bit by surprise. Good job to call a timeout, though, because he had nowhere to go with that yeah. ball. Nothing but a turnover looking at that one. Dedham has the, uh, the quickness to, to run the press, too. I mean, they've got a, a lot of people that run off the bench all about the same size and speed. They don't have the height, but they've got the quickness. And yeah, we never saw Briscoe uh, Dozier come out of the game in the first half. and It could be why they don't use uh, full-court pressure for a good portion of the game. That's, that's probably true. The other thing, too, is I, mean, I think that would wear down on you as the game goes along shooting the threes. Now your legs start to get tired. It's tougher to launch that yeah. three late in the game. Yeah, I, I'm sure we're going to see those guys for uh, 32 minutes each tonight. Greg's here, get out there. Milton brings the ball back. Bobby Wren. I put the mic around. I thought I had the cell phone. microphone in my Milton ball in the corner. Brian Travers drives it in, back out to Chris Potts for a three. Off the rim, but right there for the rebound, Adam Donovan, up and good. That's the first touch of the second half for Adam Donovan. It is. Now, long three by Potts there, but uh, Adam cleaned up on it. A little different offense now. They're running a high post offense. Fedems has actually used a lot of different looks, both defensively and offensively. Yeah, it seemed like a well-coached team. We haven't seen a lot of those uh, aggressive picks we were saw in the first No, I, I, I think it was mainly one kid in particular. I guess maybe we haven't seen much of him. Or maybe the refs cut up to him. That was the first game of the season. Yeah, maybe, they got, maybe the word got to them as the season went along. Brian Travers out top. Down low to Bobby Ranton. Oh, nice pass to Adam Donovan. 
Oh, Bobby Rant, another nice play. Good game for Bobby today. And an That's offensive foul. That's going to be foul. the third foul on the captain there. He's pushed off. Let it go, Bobby! That's tough, you know, for Briscoe. I mean, he's running a show up top all the time. He's got to make things happen. Mentally, that gets tiring. Let's see if Dedham leaves him out there with three fouls. Uh, Milton with a 42-38 lead with about 12 minutes to go here in the second half. To get it into Steve Cunningham. Ooh, that was almost a backcourt there. Yeah, he hadn't established himself in the front court. Brian Travers drives the hoop, can't get it to go. And Putney comes down with a rebound for Dedham. Over to Dozier. Good no call there. Canterbury drives the baseline, takes into the traffic, gets blocked, but Dozier there to clean yeah, up. Penetration allowed Dozier to come in on the uh, weak side to get that offensive rebound. Dedham with a three-quarter court uh, trap here. Steve Cunningham, a good outlet on that. Good drive by Brian Travers, pick up a foul. That's the fourth team foul already on Dedham. We're only about four and a half minutes into the second half here. Good work by uh, Bobby Rand to track down that in inbounds. You know what happened there? Steve Cunningham was busy trying to put his mouthpiece in his mouth. And I think it distracted him from catching what looked like a pretty good pass. Briscoe no good, and uh, good Dozier had to, yeah. had to piece that rebound, but he uh, double clutched on it. I'm not sure about that one. Yeah, uh, that was one of those ones where he went right and then left, but he didn't look like he ever moved his pivot foot. I don't foot. think he lost his pivot foot. Corey resends into the game for Milton. Give Brian Travers a rest. 42-40 Milton, 11 minutes to go here in the second half. Game against Dedham. Dozier with a good baseline move. And Corey Rosens gets called for the foul on the body. Yeah, he's a tough guy to keep up with. Tough to give him the baseline. You know, you force him middle, you're going to get some help. On the other hand, it's tough to give him the middle, too, because he yeah. can do a lot of damage in there. I think he kind of gets going whatever way he wants to get going. There's the call. That's a fourth on That's Briscoe. fourth on the team captain there. Big foul. I'm pretty sure now. I'm pretty sure he had one first half foul. We've seen three. They're going to get him right out of the game now. It'll be interesting to see how Dedham uh, organizes itself with Briscoe out of the game. And first, they're going to come out and press. Well, now they, it's a smart idea for them because they got the bodies that could do that. But Dozier must be in terrific shape. He just never stops moving. The turnover there by Milton as they tried to force it down low. Uh, I thought Bobby was set there. Well, it was one of those no calls because he didn't know which way to call it, I think. Chris Potts with a drive to the hoop, and he's going to go to the line. Yeah, too bad. Bobby gave up his body there, and that's a big truck coming at you, too. Yeah, you don't want to look up and see him coming your way. But he planned for it, and I thought he got set. I think Luckily, he's all, he missed a shot. I, think I remember uh, somebody saying he's also a very good football player, as he might uh, running back. Maybe. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. Good athlete. Shot by Chris Potts is good. And a timeout uh, called by Dedham. We're going to change tapes here, so we'll be right back with you. And we're back again, watching the cheerleaders do a terrific job again. 10.24 left to go here in the... Um, Second half, 43-40 in favor of Milton. And I think Chris Potts on the line to shoot the second half of two-shot foul. Now after Milton got off to the early lead, Jerry, it's been pretty much a uh, couple of points, four points, maybe five, six points. Yeah, both teams, both teams actually playing very well. Uh, playing some tough defense on both ends and making shots when they need to. But with Briscoe out of the game, Do really the load's going to fall on Dozier to pretty much do all, all of the offensive work. And then the other guys maybe to chip in if they can. Sheehan's had a, f had a couple of three, four hoops. He's probably been their best third option. 
Second shot by Potts, also good. Milton with a little press. Dozier in the corner. Uh, you well, know, he stepped right up. They had the press there, and Dozier was down court the whole time, just waiting. I was just about to say, at least make him work, but uh, that was a picnic shot for him. Marcus Burke back into the game. They get it down low to Steve Cunningham. Brian Travers with a three. Short, no good. Nice look. Nice look by Boudreaux to find uh, Dozier, and suddenly uh, well, uh, Dedham's back on top. Yeah. Marcus Burke goes in strong and gets fouled. 45-44 in favor of Dedham now. A uh, quick run by Dedham. All yeah. five points by Dozier. Uh, who else? As he said, he's got to step up. Uh, he's the only uh, one of the two players that have been doing most of the scoring with Prisco on the bench. Dozier must be up around 20 for the game, I would guess. I'd say uh, the 45 points that those two have, uh, what, maybe 35. 35, anyhow. Yeah. Marcus Burke knocks down the first one. And uh, Chris Benway into the game for his first appearance. Going to give Steve Cunningham a breather. Milton's only gone seven deep so far. I think this is the eighth player they've had in. Benway fights for a rebound. He controls it. Well, right away, he gets into the game and makes something happen. Chris Potts with a long three, no good. He's come up short on the last couple of threes. Brian Travers back in the game to cover uh, Dozier, I think. Milton keeping uh, Dedham on the outside now. Dozier, it's called for the travel. They've been really tight on the travel calls today. A couple of them, are, uh, that one yeah. too. You know, it looked like he moved a couple of times, but I wasn't sure the pivot foot moved at all. It looked like he might have taken a step back without the dribble. A lot of times they let that stuff go though. Tonight, uh, but at least they've been consistent about it. They've been calling most all of it. Chris Potts gets it down to Adam Donovan. Oh, he finds Marcus Burke coming from the other side. Yep. How many defenders did he draw there? He drew three defenders that time, and uh, nice look to Corey coming down off the weak side, or Marcus, I should say. That's the thing about Adam is he is a nice passer, so if you do try to double and triple team him, he can make you pay by getting it to somebody else, and Marcus did a nice job to cut in off the He's weak side. He's an excellent side. passer. First shot by yeah, Marcus, Marcus off the back rim. Yeah, he did the right thing, just head to the hoop. A couple of subs been for Dedham. Number 14, Putney back in along with uh, 22, Hanaberry. Marcus Burke with a chance to put Milton back ahead here. He's off the front rim, but Adam Donovan there for the rebound. Gets it off to Chris Benway. No good, but uh, Chris Potts tracks it down in the corner. And a travel call by the back referee. Now oh, he had to see through a defender to call that one. Chris Benway knocks it out of bounds. It's an aggressive defense again on the press. It's I see Milton so make team. a little run with Briscoe on the bench, but it's uh, not developing so far. Unfortunately, Dozier hasn't been on the bench. Good job by Brian Travers to shut off Dozier. Dozier, and there's another travel. They all do the same thing. They try to get themselves started. They make a jab step, and then they go with a pivot foot, and they're not going to get away with it tonight. Up ahead to Adam Donovan. Puts it up and in. Used his body nicely there. Create some space for himself, but nice, uh, nice long pass. And another travel. I'm going to tell you, I, I think I'll be a little gun shy about making much of a move. Yeah, we've had seven or eight real tight travel calls. Well, Denham coach is rolling the dice here. He's brought Briscoe back in with eight and a half to go and four fouls. I suppose, uh, you know, they did a good job of holding it tight while he was out. Take your shot now and see if he can play the last eight minutes without falling out. Although he may have to play a little more passively than he would normally play. Chris Potts short on a three. Marcus Burke with a three. 
also short, and Brian Travers runs it down. Good hustle by Chris Potts to yeah, knock it out of bounds. two points there. Either two points or a foul on Adam yeah. Gunnerman, one yeah. or the other. Right. Doge was off to the races. He gets a hold of that one. Nice effort. Great effort by Potsy. Frisco covered by Marcus Burke. Drops it right down into Dozier, and he's going to go to the line. I think uh, Brian Travers picked that one up. Nice job by Chris Potts to seal him off, but then uh, he spun back into the lane and got picked up the yeah, foul. Yeah, he actually created the contact there, but you're going to get that one. He's awfully tough at the line, too, so he's not somebody you want to be putting at the line late in the game. Forty-seven, forty-six in favor of Milton. Yeah, Seven fifty left to go here in the first half, the second half. Dozier finally misses one, and Chris Potts tracks down the rebound. Brian Travers in the corner swings it all the way across to Chris Potts. Good drive by Chris Potts. Yeah, he. He sold him with that outside fake. Oh, and knocked loose by Marcus Burke, but he can't pick it up. Milton staying in a man-to-man -man press here. Camerata back into the game for Dedham, replacing uh, Eric Putney. Actually, this looks like his own press, I guess. A little bit of a two-three zone, uh, three-quarter court press. And a little 2-2 two -two with the goalie in the back. And it creates a turnover. I don't know whether the press caused that or just a bad pass, but a turnover is a turnover. Denham comes right out with its full court press. They get it into Chris Benway. It's a tough pass from Chris Potts. Very Potts. tough pass. They get it right down to, oh, nice look. Marcus Burke can't get it to go, but Chris Benway gets the rebound. Nice pass again to Marcus Burke. He goes up, can't get that one to go. Tough possession there. They had a couple uh, really good opportunities. I thought Marcus got hit on one of those. Briscoe brings it up against the press. Skate save by Chris Potts. 49-46 Milton, just under seven here to go in the uh, second half. They get it down to Dozier in the corner. Brian Travers right there with him. Briscoe with a three. Short. Somebody get a piece of that? Yeah, I think Marcus got a piece of it. Uh, try it again. That one rattles out. Sheehan with a rebound. Blocked by uh, Adam Donovan. Camerata. A little foul underneath on Dedham. A lot of body fighting underneath on the rebounding. And it looks like uh, maybe Dozier picked that one up. Could have been 2-5, yeah. And Milton's going to go to the line as Dedham is over the limit. That's their ninth team foul. Next one will put him in a double bonus. I don't remember that many fouls this half, but I guess they must have been there. Milton only has four team fouls. Well, Frisco's got three of them, remember. Steve Cunningham back in the game, so Milton's going to go with the Twin Towers here. Yeah, I think that's when they're the most effective because it's tough for Dedham to concentrate on one or the other, and they both pass very well. Now, Dedham doesn't really have anyone over probably 5, 11, 6 feet. Puts a lot of pressure on the Dedham defense. Plus, so either, like, uh, either of the two big guys can pass over the top of the defenders, so if they get doubled, they can just throw right over the top of it. Nice stroke by Adam Donovan, and it makes it 50-46 Milton. Nice work, Adam! Nice work! Second one, also good. Nice smooth shot by the freshman. Denham around the perimeter. Almost picked off by Marcus Burke. Briscoe hits the three. Frustrating. I think they had it well defended, but he had a nice, nice opportunity there. Chris Potts comes up short. Briscoe brings it the other way. Defense! 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 
Hanaberry with a three. That's no good. Box out. Rebound, Chris Potts. Good box out by Milton. Yeah, I think Milton's got to start looking inside to the big guys and then, if need be, kick it out. Strong move by or, Marcus Burke. Or you can just have Marcus take it right to the rack. Marcus gets up off the floor really well. And that brings Milton back his four point lead. Chris Potts going to get called for a foul. Yeah, he kind of saddled up on Dozier as he cut across the lane there. Got a good piece of him. Now Dozier had found some good position for himself. Work, Coach Lopresti uh, exhorting the troops on. Asking for a stop here. At the four point lead. That will be a good time. Boudreau back into the game and uh, Briscoe is going to come out. Looks like the coach just wants to talk to him for a bit. Uh, I could have called the travel there. Tough shot. Adam Dunham got a piece of that shot by Hanaberry. Now that shouldn't happen. I think what happened is he put his foot back to get himself going and stepped out of bounds. Yeah. They should know where they are in their own court though. Now a golden opportunity there for Milton to try to uh, maybe stretch the lead a little bit. Gives Denham a chance to get Briscoe back in the game too after getting instructions from the coach. Hanaberry way out high. Dozier eyes the three. Covered by Chris Potts. Nice move, but he can't get it to go. And Adam Dunneman with a good rebound. Dozier looks like he's getting a little tired to me. Uh, it's gone the whole way. Hanaberry back to Dozier. Blocked by Steve Cunningham. Boudreau comes up short on the three, and Bobby Ranton comes down with it. Uh, see that get for the offensive foul, yeah. Well, another possession by Milton that's been wasted. It's three in a row where they had a chance to stretch this four-point lead into a six-point lead. And they didn't even get a shot. Three in a row, they didn't get a shot off, I don't think. Well, he got a shot off, but uh, didn't do any good. Now he should have pulled up for his jump shot. It's like they're trying to post Dozier up down low. Now they bring uh, Briscoe off a couple of screens, but Marcus that, Burke... That could be up. what the coach wanted them uh, to do when he brought him over to the sideline. Just start setting up Dozier down low there, and he just wheels into the paint. Good look to Steve Cunningham and the foul. Who made that pass? Bobby Wren? Team liked that one. I brought everybody up off the bench. That's the push they needed. Good finish by Steve. 55-49 Milton. Four and a half to go here in the second half. And Steve Cunningham on the line with a chance to push the lead up to seven. Which could be one of the biggest leads of the game. Can't get it, but right there is Adam Donovan. Smartly kicks it out. A little inadvertent offense, but it paid off. Yeah, nice dish by Marcus there. Penetrated, opened things up, and uh, found Steve. I think he was trying to go to Adam Donovan. Somebody got a piece of it, and it went right to Steve. So you're, so you're not going to give him the assistant? I'll leave that up to the scorekeeper. <laughs> a wild miss by oh, I Boudreau. think he was going after Cunningham the whole way. Dedham's Good stop. Good stop by Milton. Here and it could uh, make it tough for Dedham to bounce back into this one. Trying to use some clock here. Those east-west passes, though. Huge block. Wow. Big yeah. momentum breaker there. Well, Chris Potts made up for the bad pass by hustling back and with a really athletic, acrobatic block on that one. I still got to stop him here in the half court. Marcus Burke gets a hand on it. I think he surprised Briscoe there in that block. Briscoe over uh, over to uh, Dozier. Dozier's sucking wind, I think, a little bit now. Calls for the pick, take, takes it in, and gets called for the charge. One. Yeah. Rent, Bobby Renton was there the whole time. It's not like Bobby's got much meat on his bones either. No, he's not afraid to give it up for the team. Dedham has to press now with three and a half to go. They get it into Rand, but knocked out of bounds by Denham. 
And Bobby almost went through the wall down Braintree there the second half at the end of the game on a layup. That wall comes up quickly down there. Good look by Rand to get it into Donovan. He was almost trapped in the corner, but he was... And a turnover and a foul on Steve Cunningham. And that'll be a penalty situation. You've got to be careful with the ball at this stage. And it looks like uh, Putney will go to the line to shoot one on one. Yeah, Milton just went in the uh, penalty. Be Putney's first trip to the line, I think. Coach is asking for uh, one of the guys to get in on this next shot. Shot is good by Putney. Makes sense to have four defenders in there for that rebound. 57-50 Milton. Putney with a second. Also good. Nice uh, touch on those fouls. Stepped shot. up. Kick ball by Sheehan and it'll stay Milton good ball. by Dedham here. Milton keeps getting the ball into the corner. It's not really where you want it to be. Nice catch by Adam Donovan. Uh, tough break, tough break. Looked like he got hit on that one. Hey, move the game, will you? Fans didn't like that call. At least this fan over here next to me didn't like that call. Almost a turnover by Putney. Up top to Briscoe. Trying to get down the low post to Doja, no. Putney no good. Steve Cunningham with a strong rebound. Milton has the numbers here. Uh, good idea, but a bad pass. And an equally bad pass coming back the other way. Chris Potts does the right thing to slow it down a little bit. Oh, nice, nice drive by Chris Potts. Potts. That opens up the eight point lead again. Now two and a half to go, 59-51 Milton. Briscoe with a three. From behind the screen, the wheels are a little tired now. Yeah, Briscoe's really had a very quiet second half. Yeah. I think the foul trouble kind of took him out of his rhythm. Oh, they tried to break Steve Cunningham long, but uh, he stopped on his pattern. As soon as these guys, uh, Prisco or Doge, you get the ball, you have to look to help out quickly. Let these other guys fire it up. And Putney has, uh, couldn't get that one to go, and Bobby Ranton with a rebound. A lot of pressure by Doja. Good look by Bobby Rand to Adam Donovan. Look away pass there by Bobby. Looked left and passed right. I thought he was going to go the left wing. Nicely done. I should have got a call there too. Well, it's justice that that ball didn't go in because that could easily have been another offensive yeah, foul. Yeah, felt for Bobby Ranton there. He's on the ground with all the big guys hoofing around right in front. You get on like that when Dozier hits you. At least want to hear a whistle. Yeah, yeah. Dozier is exhausted. He's played every minute of this game. And he's played every minute hard too. And it's, uh, you know, they had to leave him in because they needed his offense. But I think in the long run, they pay a price for doing that. They may get less out of him than they would have otherwise gotten. Late they foul call. that one, but he's going to go to the line for three, I think. Now, see, I think that should not be three. That was on the box out, not on the shot. That should be a two-shot foul, because he was already back down on the ground again when he got hit. At that point, he's not a shooter anymore. Yeah. He's being boxed out. Yeah, we'll find out. But they did give him, no, they gave him three. Chance to cut the 10-point lead here for Denham. Uh, that helps he, the cause. He looked tired on that shot, too. Yeah. Tedham could have used a few timeouts to give him a blow, too. Uh, There's a timeout by Coach Lopresti, I think. 61-52 in favor of Dedham. Uh, excuse me, in favor of Milton. A minute and a half to go here. you got to think they should be able to take this one home. They're in their own gym. They, uh, now they just need to take care of the basketball. No Dedham's going to have... The one, uh, one uh, Achilles heel we have had a little bit, though, is the foul shooting. And I assume Dedham is going to start putting us on the line, although we're in the might double Might be a little bonus. early for that. They might, next time, no, I think you'll just see the full court pressure again. They've had some success with that. Just 
Job well done. You gotta trust those three people underneath you if you're gonna go yeah. up off the ground like that. And if it was you and I now, for some reason I think we'd be on the bottom. I don't think we'd... But we'd be on the floor. That's what I mean. No, I mean on the floor. Yeah, we'd be. They wouldn't be tossing us around. They probably would look at us, Kevin. <laughs> uh, Kevin would look good in a skirt. Oh, nice talk. That's it. You're not doing any more games <laughs> after this. Well, Dedham's going to have to make something happen here. Doja said, be, be helpful for them, I guess, if Doja could make this foul shot, it would let them put their press on. So it not only would give them the point to cut the lead to Yeah, probably eight. even more importantly, just look for the quick pressure. Yeah, line ball here now at the third shot. Dozier gets it to go. Adam Dunham going to put it in play for Milton. High pass to Chris Potts. Good work by Marcus Burke. Underneath to Steve Cunningham. He gets fouled and he's going to go to the line. But they moved the ball well there. They did. You know, they used their height. A couple of high lob passes. One to Chris Potts. Yeah, they aggressively came to, to the Steve ball, Cunningham. which you have to do. Steve Cunningham at the line. 61-53 Milton. A minute 29 to go. Chance to extend the lead here. First shot around the rim and off. At least one now. He's only burned five seconds off the clock since that timeout, since the free throw. Gets the second one. He gets the second one. Nine point lead for Milton. They stay in a press just to try to take some time off the clock. Dozier misses the three and Steve Cunningham with a rebound. And a foul by Dozier. Yeah, they're getting to the point where they got to start sending Milton to the line here. I don't know how many that is on Dozier, but I don't think he's in foul trouble. I think he might only have three. Three that I that I remember. Brian Travers going to come back into the game uh, for some defense. Yeah, the Brian's one done a offensive nice foul, and then he had two others, I think. Marcus. First shot by Marcus Burke off the rim, no good. Second shot short, and uh, no, that's not what you want. That's no, going to get him right in the line. No, you want them to work their way down the court, not no, no, go right to the line. Putney's a very good foul shooter, or at least the last two he took were nothing but net. I think Marcus was a little frustrated at missing the foul shots and all. Yeah, which often happens. Just working hard to get his own rebound. Putney with a chance to uh, cut the Milton nine-point lead here. One on one, Al. Rattles the first Makes one the in. 62-54 Milton. Minute 15 left to go here in the second half. I won't say the game because we've had a couple overtime games here. But he gets the second one. Milton works the ball over midcourt. See if Dedham fouls. They do. Well, that's a smart move there. I mean, you might as well see if you can get him in the 10-second. Uh, they had so much trouble. See if you can get the 10-second without the uh, plus we've missed sending them to the line. Right. And then after they got it over timeline. That's the time to follow uh, him. We've uh, been a little spotty at the foul line. We missed three of the last four. Let's see if Steve Cunningham can uh, do a little better here. Steve will get two shots. Rattles the first one in. Good solid Makes game the second by Steve. one easier if you can knock that first one in. Something we rarely did, so we probably never would ha know that feeling. But it works here. Some both. Milton with a nine-point lead. He had Dozier on the wing for a three. Decided to take it in. We got a foul now, and Brian yeah, Travis. Took a little too long to yep. foul there. Uh, they ran about 15 seconds off the clock. Coach had to yell over to them. Uh, Briscoe uh, took it the length of the floor. You're right. He might have wanted to kick that one out. Yeah, Doja was set up on the three-point line there, right in the right wing. Particularly since it was a tough shot he was trying to make. 
I thought that's what he's going to do is draw the defense and then kick it back up. Timeout call by Dedham. Well, Melton's done a nice job in the second half on defending uh, both Briscoe and Dozier. They have. They have. By now they've seen quite a bit of them and uh, they adjusted very well. We'll look at Coach Lopresti over on the sidelines talking to his team. Must be happy with the way they played this game. I tell you, back to back, if they can pull this one out and they should. Uh, big win last Friday. That may have been the fifth foul on somebody because they didn't really take a timeout. They might have used the 30 seconds they got to yeah, replace the Yeah, they stayed the on the court, too. Brian Travers will shoot two. First one rolls around and out. Brian, usually a very reliable foul shooter. Chance to open this up to a 10-point lead for Milton. 49 seconds left. Comes up short, but Steve Cunningham gets the rebound and loses out of bounds. Yeah, good effort. Just couldn't hang on to it. Milton drops out of the press now. Coach Stalin will make uh, Briscoe work. Uh, everybody else falls back. Canterbury takes it in for the hoop, but I think you'll give him that at this point. Give him a two-pointer. Chris Potts. Hacked by uh, the hack -a -pots. They're doing the hack -a -pots. Except he's a little bit better foul shooter than uh, Shaq. Uh, with 31 seconds left and a seven point lead, if he can knock these down, that should pretty much do it. Yeah, that would make it a three possession game. First is good. I'll be doing the same thing after this. Uh, just make Briscoe work coming down, but no fouls. Second shot, no good. Briscoe runs it down. Bobby's going to pick him up at the half court. Dozier with a three. Short and Brian Travis with a rebound and mugged. And another front rim uh, job by yep. Dozier there. There's, you know, kids he, played a lot of minutes. He and Briscoe both were coming yeah. up short in the second half. Yeah, they pay a price for leaving him on the court, I think. And Travers back at the line for two. Can't get it to go. Kind of uh, fall, fell through on that one as he shot. That's better. Milton will just try to defend here. No fouls. Another front rimmer. That should do it. I don't think yeah, Dedham will follow anymore. Them to follow. No, they'll just... And we watch the last seconds tick down. And a nice, solid victory for the Milton Wildcats. Well, Dedham won on its home court, but Milton came yeah. home here tonight and defended his home turf. Yeah. They took care of business in their house. Final score is... Um, Milton Wildcats 66 to Dedham uh, Marauders. Is that what they are? 57. The Marauders, that's right. Uh, Milton's on a little bit of a run here. They've um, they beat Braintree the other night. They beat a good uh, Dedham team here. Yeah, a team that beat them earlier in the season. I think they're uh, playing better and better. They really are as the season goes on. It brings the record to 6-3. and three, And as I say, puts them in a good solid position to battle for second place in the uh, Herget division. And also puts them in a you know good spot they're looking towards the... Um, the end of the season tournament. Sure. I think they got a, solid, a really strong first half from Adam Donovan. He was dominant in the first half. He really was. And then in the second half, good team play. Bobby Ranton had another good game. Good solid uh, game up and down. Better help defense too with uh, trying to control uh, Dozier and uh, Briscoe there. And Brian Travers. Get, people getting help a little quicker than they were in the first half. And both Brian Travers and uh, Chris Potts did a great defensive job and a good strong uh, rebounding job all game by uh, Steve Cunningham. Well, we'll be back. We'll hope to bring you some more games as we go along here. But final score once again: Milton Wildcats 66, Dedham 57.